In conversation with uh, Ajit Kumar Jain, he's the Joint Managing Director of IPCA Labs, and we want to talk to him about the entire issue that's going on in terms of the coronavirus, what's the status as far as their HCQ exports are concerned, and how is business going for IPCA Labs. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jain, for speaking to Bloomberg Queen. Uh, my first question is, you gave a notification in the exchange indicating that the US FDA has lifted the import alert for a specific two products, that is HCQS and chloroquine uh, uh, phosphate. Uh, what's the status of export of these two products post the US FDA lifting this import alert, sir? We were not there in the supply line of US uh, till this uh, notification was given. And uh, subsequent to that, we had to augment all the supply line of excipients, packing materials, and uh, everything. So that process is going on currently, and now we, we are in a process of starting production for them. And since long time we have not produced, so we have to again take the validation batches and all those, whatever is required to be done, those exercises currently going on. So maybe shortly in some, uh, some period of time, we should be prepared to... Uh, uh, have production ready for U.S. and uh, now I think government has uh, imposed the restriction on exports of uh, hydroxychloroquine sul uh, sulfate and all shipments uh, are uh, uh, to be made according to the allocations given by the central government and therefore thereafter we will wait for the allocation to us and then export can happen. So still it will take some time for us to do the export to U.S. Uh, what's the plan to ramp up this production of these two products? What's the current production, and what is your aim to uh, get these products ramped up to? Well, let's uh, current our capacity is around 20 metric tons of hydroxychloroquine sulfate, which we produce in house. Uh, yeah, the ingredient ourselves. We also start producing our key starting material in house in our company itself. So we are not dependent uh, on anybody for. Uh, key starting material as well as the active pharma ingredient. And we are sub uh, the global supplier of these uh, uh, medicine uh, hydroxychloroquine sulfate to more than 50, 60 countries. So uh, that's there. But as far as the U.S. is concerned, yes, it will take some time and thereafter it will start. And uh, right now we are focused more on India because there is a large requirement and government of India is uh, building up a huge reserve of uh, buffer stock of hydroxychloroquine tablet and till now we have supplied almost around 5 crore tablet to the central and state government and we have still order pending and that's the process currently going on. Uh, so as far as uh, the news that has come out is that the ban is basically on the API exports and you, and you also have uh, the capacity to do formulations for uh, these products. Uh, uh, what kind of export ramp up will happen in, on the formulation side? Formulations, we have, I said that we are already doing formulation export to many countries, uh, but uh, now the process is that uh, the, neither you can export the API nor the formulation till the time government, uh, the, from diplomatic channel, the request comes to the government, and then government, external affairs ministry giving this, uh, the permission to export the formulation to respect the embassy, and then embassy approaching the company. That's the process uh, is there, and that's a little longer process, so... Whole, whole thing, whole chain has to complete and thereafter the message goes to DGFT and, and to customs and then only you can export. So that's, that's the current process which is set by the government and everything, everything depends on what kind of allocation they give for exports, domestic, supply to the captive market, uh, supply to the, the government itself. Uh, I could have, at, uh, today I can only tell you that we have capacity to produce around 10 crore tablets and we have capacity to produce around... Uh, 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 20 tons of API, which by June we will have almost around 13 crore tablet production capacities and around 20, 26 tons of API production capacity, which will be fully utilized uh, in this period. Okay. Uh, uh, what kind of uh, capacity are you currently uh, utilizing at your plants uh, and what's the kind of uh, utilization that will go up over the next few months? That's what I currently oh, sir, right. said to you that it's around uh, 10 crore tablets uh, we have capacity to produce from our own produce a hydroxychloroquine sulfate API, and which will go up to around uh, the, the 13 crore tablet with around 26 tons of uh, hydroxychloroquine sulfate. And currently we are fully utilizing capacities and utilizing our own active pharma ingredient to produce the API.
Okay, uh, just a, a few other, uh, uh, you know, questions. Uh, basically, you said for these two products, uh, you're not dependent on China uh, because you have the key raw materials also with you. But in re in uh, uh, relation to the other products that you produce, uh, not these two, uh, are you dependent on China heavily uh, and how dependent are you? As far as the, the, the uh, uh, key starting materials are concerned on many products, they come from China, let's say, all fermentation products come from China, and uh, they are the large global supplier of all the all the kind of uh, uh, antibacterials and vitamins and hormones. All the all the kind of key starting materials come from China. We also have a lot of uh, uh, intermediates um, and uh, basic chemicals which are coming from China. To that extent, uh, there are dependents, but uh, China is now returning fast to a normal level. And uh, we are not seeing any kind of supply disturbances currently from China. Uh, apart from these two products, uh, HCQS and uh, chloroquine phosphate, uh, is there any other drug that you produce that has seen uh, increased traction because of coronavirus? Uh, I, I think uh, other than that is the uh, only azithromycin is there, which is there under the treatment uh, recommendations and all. And, uh, but we have not seen a very significant increase in the azithromycin requirement. Uh, sir, just a general question, because uh, while uh, the import alert was list was lifted for these two products itself, uh, it's been quite a while since uh, these import alerts are there on the three plants of yours. Uh, what's the update on the remediation measure and why, according to you, is it taking so much time for IPCA to come out of this import we, alert? We have done all the remedial action and it's now for FDA to come and inspect. So uh, we, I could, as far as regulatory matters are concerned, I cannot comment, but as far as on our side, everything is done, uh, uh, and uh, we have informed everything to FDA. Okay. Uh, my final two questions, sir. Post the third quarter numbers, you had said that there will be a sharp focus on brand building and picking up of new therapies. Uh, what's the update? What kind of uh, uh, outlook can you share on the growth here? Uh, currently, because of lockdown, I think uh, the businesses will disturb a lot, and. Uh, it's difficult to say currently the outlook as uh, how long it, the lockdown continues and how long disturbance continues. So it may not be a right time to give any kind of guidelines. Uh, just a final word on the CAPEX post the lockdown. Uh, what kind of CAPEX uh, are you looking to put up uh, for your capacity? Uh, we will be setting up another API facility at uh, Devas in Madhya Pradesh. So there will be some CAPEX relating to that. And overall CAPEX for the company will be around 300 crores. Okay, Mr. Jain, we leave it at that. Thank you so much for speaking to Bloomberg Print. Thank you.